everybody. It is March 2nd and you are joining me for a live tech talk up here in Paso Robles. This is a beautiful area and uh, got themselves a building and right in the middle of virtually nowhere. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna have Alex spin around so you can see the building. They've got their own uh, four wheel drive rock course right here in the, the front of the building. We're gonna give you a tour. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. We're gonna meet Steve Roberts. Um, I've, I've known these guys for over 20 years. Great guys. And I'm gonna show you what American made product looks like. This is, this is really good stuff. There's Steve. There's Tony. He is one of the largest human beings I've ever met. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, 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 I probably rank in the top 10 though. Yeah. <laughs> At least. Welcome to Advanced Adapters. Thanks, thanks. It so, is awesome to be here. Nice drive up to the other end of the 805 beautiful area code. Beautiful drive, beautiful drive. All right, so we want to see that right there. You drove all the way up here to look at that. Yeah, this is the coveted JLJT. The, that everybody's dying. That everybody's everybody's dying, dying for. Let's check it out. Come on in. Let's check it out. All right, I know you guys have been working on this for a long time. Yes. This is the magic right here, right? This is definitely magic. There's a lot of little details with this. Bolting the transfer case to the transmission is just another day at work for advanced adapters. <laughs> That's not a big right. deal. You have heat exchangers for the transmission up in front that we have to redo how we connect the cables to get clearance. You have all kinds of other stuff. The cables come in from the back side, not the front side, like on a JK. So when Benz we had to make some new stuff, so let's make some upgrades. When you say backside, you mean here instead of here. Yeah, instead yes. of coming in from the front. Yeah. Now these cables, the only way to make this work is they have to make this giant loop Around. across the transmission and come back in. Wow, wow. Okay, so this, right now this is oriented as if you're sitting in the driver's seat, right? Yes. Shifter, Atlas yeah. shifters. Yep, there's your automatic shifter. Right that's, here. That's cool. That is cool. And you've got this cutaway case, which is actually yes. really cool. Yep. So you can see inside the cutaways, how the interlocks work, how they slide back and forth. And and you yeah. guys made some changes to this whole cable setup so that it's yeah. much easier to install too. Yes. We've definitely come a long way. Because we were going to have to redesign some parts anyhow. So let's make it easier. Let's get rid of our JK issues, guys misadjust this adjustment, then everything's torn apart. You gotta pull the case out to fix it. It's a nightmare. It's not fun at all. So we now have fixed mounting points. No more big adjuster nuts here. That is nice. This goes through, these thread through to where they're even on the back side. You put them on, you're done. No That's thinking it. about adjustment. So this cable is blocked, threaded Because it blocks. used to be that you had to do all that on the outside, right. make Both. sure it was good. Yes. Right now it's a you can do it once. simple deal. I like and be that. done. It makes like life that. a lot easier. It's going to cut down install time. And, and you know, for me, I was always skeptical of the cables. Like yeah. it took me a long time. A long to do time. That. But honestly, they work good. They're reliable. Yeah. So. You know, coming from some of the head mechanical shifters on a YJ 20 years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and those still work <laughs> very still well. Work. They do have a different feel. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah. So we carried this whole philosophy up and we come up here. The JLJTs, you have very little room for anything. This little block of magic has been our thorn in our side, getting manufactured from COVID and people not being able to supply and companies say they can time. do it and then backing out. Then backing out. We had that happen a couple times, so we're yeah. we're a few few deep into this. But again, this is all set adjustments here. There's only a small adjustment here just to line your sticks up when you're in neutral. That's all there is. And now when you get in. You can just merely, there's your high range, two wheel drive. There's your four wheel drive high range, back to neutral. Your rear low, four low. This one happens to be a special version that has interlocks that does not allow a front dig. That's not anything to do with oh. um, that. This is set up for a single stick shifter, so you had a single stick on it. Oh. But this is not something we're doing. The JLs will be able to do front, front digs, digs just like everything course. else. Right, right. And I do want to yeah. remind people that if you're going to do a front dig, you need to have some beefier front axle equipment. Definitely. Yeah, where you're going to put Well, you know, we just um, we uh, made a deal with a lot of the axle companies a while ago. <laughs> so we made sure they do front He's digs. Kidding. So. He's kidding. He's <laughs> kidding. 
we get a kickback for every front dig <laughs> axle failure. No, but all kidding aside, that's how it goes. But that is everything else. These parts will be no longer prototype. Two, three weeks, guys have pre-ordered. Yeah, and you said this is retrofitable or something to the JK? Well, we're taking the same technology and moving it over and redoing our JK shifters so the JK install will be similar. Similar, so simple. Simple. Shops will be able to do it. In, uh, individuals will be able to do it easier. Um, I just drove this in your yeah. JL, and yeah. it shifted perfect. So it, It's an improvement. It, you guys have really done a good job. It's, it, it it's took taken time. a while. But, but good things nice. take time, right? Yes, sir. This is wine country. Yes, it is. Right? Things get better with time. Exactly. Yes. Notice the color of the cables. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. So all of this said, I know this is what yeah. everybody's hot to learn about. Yeah. But what you don't know is this place actually does more stuff than transfer cases. Of course. So, so let's walk out back let's, and check let's it out. Let's go walk. Yeah. Let's go take a look. Let's see yeah. what's going on. There is the, the jail we just drove. Yep. Looks just like Aftershock. All right. We are here at Advanced Adapters in Paso Robles, California. Steve mistakenly gave me the keys to their jail. That, that gentleman right there. And look at, he's still smiling. <laughs> we want your opinion. We want to see how you like the changes and the upgrades we've made. All right. <laughs> so you've shifted enough atlases. We want your opinion how this one does. All right. If there's one thing I'm full of, it's opinions. So we're, we're going to give no, this. That's not we're, the we're, <laughs> Deb. Jeez. Oh, I got the hand. She's, oh, I got she's the all hand. over me today. All right, here we go. Let's give this a shot. So everybody knows going to four high with an Atlas, piece of cake. So we're going to turn out here. And by the way, doing it on the highway, on the pavement, is a little tougher because the drive line tends to get bound up, right? Everything's fighting each other. So we're gonna go to neutral, shift to high. Oh yeah, that's, well, okay, eh, a little rough. Let's, let's see what else we got. So now we're driving along, but right, we're gonna come back out of four wheel drive. We're gonna, we're gonna slow down, try and go about walking speed, no problem. Come on, come on. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Just a little bit of pressure. Okay, so now um, we're in low range. And as you all know, to just go into four, look at that, butter. Butter to go into four high. Okay, so we're going to go back. Or sorry, this is low. In, in front wheel. So now we're front and rear low. Back out. We'll go to neutral. Back out, back to high. Oh, that does shift nice. I think they got the linkage figured out on the jail. Getting thumbs up, for sure. Check all this, so tell us tell us what we're looking at here. So what we're looking at is, uh, this is obviously our shipping department where we stock everything. We have, this is just rows of castings that adapt transmission and transfer cases together. This is, that's all these, this whole row is, is just different castings. That is crazy. How, how many different, there's like 50. I don't there's know the lot. exact count, but there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. And you know, we've, of course we've been doing this for 50 years. Well, so we go a, back. That was the next thing you'll I was find, say. You'll find Muncie M21, M22 <laughs> car, four speed stuff, old SM420 stuff. You'll find, you know, turbo 350s and power glides and 400s and all kinds of stuff and Toyota Land Cruisers to the Toyota Mini Trucks to everything that we do. It's crazy. There's Including a lot of complete 
transmission. Transmissions. If you notice, right. that's our will call area. Yeah. There's somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody needs to come get their transmission before I yeah. sell it to somebody else. <laughs> so I was going to mention, you know, um, I started doing business with you guys 20 years ago right. easily. Yeah. Um, use the products day yeah. in, day out. Yeah. Not, not only in my Jeep, but in our Ultra <laughs> 4 where we just beat the living daylights out. Right. So um, for those of you that don't know, I built Terramoto uh, 10 years ago. And I just brought the transfer case back for Steve to look at. And he's like, yeah, bearings are a little loose. We should probably give it a little freshen up. Yeah. That's 10 years behind 640 horse and not being nice to it. Do you have a mileage count on Terramoto, uh, roughly? So I replaced the whole um, dash system like 10,000 miles ago, so it's probably 20,000 miles. 20,000 miles of off-road off road use. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have a lot of street time on it. And that's the one that we pre-run King of the Hammers. I've like raced King yeah. of the Hammers, right? Yeah. That thing has not had an easy life. No, it, but so, it still runs. But it still runs. And, and this is why everybody I talk to, I'm always saying, like, whatever I run, it's what works. Right. Exactly. That's how you Period. built your stuff the way it is. Right. So. so what else would you like to see here? So we have, we can go over. Yeah, I mean, in the same room, the these are all right? the guys ask a lot of times we had a comp. Why does it take so long to ship stuff? Well, you have this shaft goes with this casting, but this shaft may also go with that casting to make a different kit. You put them all together in kits. Well, inevitably, you're going to be taking apart kits to get stuff out the door. Right, right. So when you buy a, one of our adapter kits, it takes this casting and this shaft, and you got to pull all the hardware, all the nuts and bolts, everything else. Well, in these days, you know, you're missing a thrust washer or a or bolt, bolt or, or some any stupid, stupid thing, thing that yeah. keeps us from going out the yes, door. Yes. Yes. So our popular kits we do pre-box, but a lot of the other stuff they're here, and you know we're pulling them by hand. So it takes a human being to do that it day sure in and day out. There's no robots in here working. <laughs> right. So we are right now, we're a little bit after hours. Everybody yes. just entered for the day. You guys start early. Yeah, we started um, six. This is a warm climate. So um, yeah. it's still a little above 80 degrees right now. Yeah. And um, so the shop is empty. However, if you can listen very carefully, the machines are still running in the background. And we're going to make guys, our way over there. Those guys will be here till 11 o'clock at night. There you go. So let's let's kind of cruise through sure. and show everybody. I mean, you guys, I, mean, I see clutches here. You sell all kinds of stuff. Well, with our conversions, you have to have a clutch to go with an engine transmission conversion. A you good know? one. So, so we sell center force clutches. They have what they need. They'll sell us individual clutch components because we're selling stuff that never went together. So we need a clutch disc from this yeah. and a pressure plate Including from that. Including bell housings, right? Yes. Like, so you can adapt bell everything. Housings. Yeah. yeah. So you never know what we're going to put together. We need a clutch disc from this. We have some of them that we have to have specially made, but yeah, you never know. I mean, look at all these fabricated yeah. mounts. Here's, a, here's yeah. another bell housing. Yeah. Here's right. a Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40 bell housing. All this you know, stuff. This is all basically our now we're into our motor mount section, so here's, you know, LS mounts for a TJ right here. You know, you go through old XJ V8 motor mounts. There's all kinds of different motor mounts for all the different engine conversions we've supported over the years. <laughs> I mean, not too many places do you walk in and find Buick V6 motor mounts. <laughs> but our company has done a ton of Buick 231 Right, you're, you're the go-to guys. That was in the 70s. Yes. That was our yes. go-to stuff. I mean, look at all this stuff. I mean, there's there's stuff everywhere we're, in here. Yeah. And again, like I said, we're just looking at the, the motor mount stuff yes. right now. Yes, Yeah, hardware, uh, just everything. So, yeah. um, oh, here's more, you know, gears and bearings and, and stuff. And widgets and, yeah, transmission mounts, you know, shifter components, NV4500 shifter parts. Tone wheels for GM applications for vehicle speed sensors. These are the tone wheels. These are all made here in house. And and this is I wanted to show everybody this advanced adapters needs to be a resource. Like yeah. if if you guys are trying to do some kind of a conversion, yeah. they're the go-to guys. Yeah, we've got are. and we've been doing this for over 50 years. You That's know, started in 71. That's a long time. And so um, I do, I still want to make my way around. Sure. I mean, there's tons of cool stuff to see, right? Yeah. There's so, stuff around every corner. Yeah. So. And if you've never done business with these guys before, um, this is, you know, three or so hours north of LA. Yeah. 
and uh, beautiful part of the country, wine yeah. country now. Exactly. And uh, this is, I, I love this area right here. So this is, you can see down the line here, that is the Atlas assembly line. You know, of course, these guys are known for their atlases. Here they are all piling into the end for shipping. So these yeah. are done and ready to put in the box. And uh, the, earlier today, we, we saw all the guys here building these things, but this is the whole assembly area and um, it is really cool. Then they're, all the supporting parts are back behind. And... Yeah, they're literally putting the gear clusters in right here. Yep. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, we got our own workstations. So we, we've to manufacture, you know, maximize getting stuff out the door, we've started. So we will spend three days out of the week, two, three days out of the week, building the sub-assemblies. Like you see over here, you'll see the tail housings. Those are already pre-shimmed, they're loaded, they're ready to go. You'll see gear sets are dressed and ready to go. Yeah, I mean, here's one for a speedo sensor. There's, there's like one, the non, yes. right? Because all those are options, the different yeah. yokes or flanges or whatever. Yes. And you look here, we have, there's, you know, loaded front output shafts assemblies. They'll go in, they get shimmed to the case and they move on from there. But what this does, they'll spend a few days building all the sub assemblies. Then they'll blast out 50 cases in a couple days. Yep. Because doing them one at a time. Look at this one up. here. This is like just started, right? So it barely has anything in it. It's totally cool. So they just put on the yoke right here's one even less parts yeah. in it. Oh, yeah. It's just awesome. And they all have... If you've never seen American-made stuff like this, this is what our country is all about. Making it right here. Right here. The good old-fashioned way. Yeah. It's just awesome. So that's that's part of the reason I'm trying to get everybody yeah. over here. Yeah. Let's, let's, so we let's can take check it out. Let's show what we got back yeah. here. So not only is all this stuff designed and built here, yeah. it's literally made right here. As you so, can see, we're what, 50 foot away from where the assembly where, department yeah, is? Yeah, that's right. And literally, There's here, the is the, here is the start of an atlas. Yep. This is a raw casting from Edelbrock Foundries. That's how it shows up to us. This and mill right here, all day, every day, yep. all it does. Inside the machine. Is machine these. And they're, they're making them a couple at a time inside there. So um, this is really important for you to know. If you're not familiar with manufacturing, these machines have cutting bits inside and they take that casting and they machine it all down. So all I'll the bearings, a, I'll the grab gears, a finished one here for there, us. There you go, yeah. And uh, each one of these machines does a different job. That one's over there making shafts that go inside. Yeah. You know, look at, here's a finished one. Here's a finished machine case. Right, so it's beautiful. So three sides all get machined, front, back, pan size. Yep, all the tapped holes. All the tapped holes, all the index bores, cluster pin bores. Right, super precision. All done super precision. Right. All the O-ring grooves, the little, I saw all the bushings down there to get pressed yep. in. And they get serial numbered right on the yep. machine. Yep, they're serial numbered right here. Right as they come off the machine. So this then. is where all the shifter linkage bolts on right here. Yes. That you saw earlier, I yeah. mean just, this is, this is good stuff. Yes. <laughs> Most people never get to see this and it's all happening right here. Yes. So then you move over like into this department, actually you can see the machine running right here. And this is making, so you can see the casting in different positions. So it's finishing the, you get a finished part out each time the machine cycles. Yes. And that is, that's like perfect yeah, manufacturing yes. right there. Perfect. So again, Alex, to your right is the bin with the uh, the raw castings, and over here is the finished stuff. Yep, these come from Angelus Aluminum in LA. They're machined every day and down they come, there. Come back all done. You, you look at this; it's serial numbered again. You know, part number. Like we put the part number in. Then, in recent years, you know, we now have lot numbers for traceability. If we have yep. an issue, we know. Hey, call us up. What's what's the lot number you have? Okay. We had an issue, we didn't have an issue, whatever. That's right. Traceability, we know where to go from there. I mean, all this stuff, so these are special bore micrometers, yeah. uh, go, no-go gauges. So yeah. on one side, it's got a thread in, the other side, if it threads in, this is a junk part. Yep. So that every single one gets checked. This is, I'm telling you, this is manufacturing at its best right here. Yeah. I love it. 
I love it. So another type of casting happening over here. Yep. Oh, here's the shift forks. Right. And right. also like to go on our variety. These happen to be, uh, these are foil 80, the 205 transfer case. Okay. But yet beside it, right next to us on these raw castings right here. Is Toyota. These are Toyota doubler <laughs> kits that are being made. Nice. I love um, it. Going back to the Atlas, our shift forks. Anyone yep, grab one of those yep, raw forks yep. down there? Yeah, so here's the before. So they come in as a raw. Yep, like that. Raw cast, they get all machined, machined everything else. out, all done up. Really nice, really nice. Yeah. And there's little uh, spacers. Yeah. Plastic pads that go pads, on. The shift yeah. pads, yeah. And then that shifts inside the case. Yep. And the little inspection station, and then more. Look at this guy. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Making parts. The night shift crew, <laughs> keeping us in parts. Yeah. We thank you. I, and you know what? This is important because I know a lot of you are complaining about, you know, you can't get your stuff fast enough. Well, they're, they're here working. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no magic. Like, the parts have to go through the machine. The machine can only make so many per day. Yeah. And they're working a lot of hours to make this happen, so. Yeah, two shifts a day and just as quick as we can get raw material raw in. materials, yeah. Like we said, every bolt, spacer, thrust yeah. washer, yes. all that stuff. So what do we got here? These are, you guys are known for your 231 slip yoke eliminator kits. And like, like a lot of our competitors, you can always identify ours by this right here. The USA in the casting. Nice. Because these are poured in LA in a foundry in Los Angeles. They're machined in our facility here. That's why we get the privilege of putting USA on our product. And uh, if you're not familiar with this, you know, this is uh, common on a YJ, TJ, okay. LJ, right? Yeah. 231 yep. transfer case, uh, NP, new process. Um, this eliminates that slip yoke. This is the best kit on the market, right? This is a We've, new shaft, big new 32 shaft. spline, right? Yep, it's All upgraded the to 32 stuff. spline. And we'd like to say we make the best one out there. Yep. I just got one for my YJ. Yes. So we're, we're putting it in right now. So yes. it's going to be awesome. Yep. So they're making those right here again. Every cycle of the machine, parts come off, done. So if anybody that's waiting on them, they're, they're coming. There they are. We're trying. You're making 400 of them, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do we got here? Bell housings going? We have bell housings running right now. Yep. Um, so here's these guys here. Raw um, and finished. Raw to finish. Yeah. You know, we do, we are a conversion company, but these are, we also remake discontinued factory parts. So this happens to be um, 1994 through 2002, New Venture 4500 five speed bell housing for the Cummins diesel or the Dodge V10. Wow. Chrysler quit making them. We had people that wanted them. So we made it. Why not? <laughs> and we That's go awesome. through, we sell hundreds Obviously and hundreds a lot of them. Of them. The, unfortunately, this will not get all of our back orders filled because the right. foundry could not get us enough castings right now. Oh, man. But those that do have it on order, be patient, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're getting to the really get cool over to the magic precision section. stuff. Okay, so this is, what you're looking at here is all the gear blanks. And uh, these are made in a variety of different departments here. We haven't even seen all the different uh, turning well, departments. Well, earlier we were looking at those tone wheel speed sensors. Yes. These are the blanks. That's them. For those tone wheel speed sensors. Go. They just haven't there had the gear go. hob operation yet. Same here, these shafts, is, that looks like maybe the 231 shaft? No, that is going to be a SM420 shaft. It is. No, that's, that's transmission main shaft. Nice, okay. Let's see, what, what do we have here? Muncie. Yeah, that's Muncie Car 4 Speed. Okay. So M21, M22, which we still make that still stuff. Still making them. I know GM what this is. I know yeah. what this is. Yeah. So Alex, can you see this pretty good? So these are out of the Atlas, right? That's, these, that's a divorced input for an Atlas. Okay, so these just came back from the heat treat. Yep. And they're gonna go through this grinder right here. Yep. And when they come back, they've got all these precision bearing finishes on. And so uh, this, if you know, if we pull one out here, you can see the tip where it's going to ride in the bearing, where the strides and bearing. These have been ground to spec after heat treat because stuff's going to change in size and heat treat. 
They've still got one more grind to do on this particular shaft. You can a lot of times tell a heat treated shaft because a heat treated shaft's gonna be a dark gray color. Yes. It's not gonna be a shiny metal like you would look at one of those transmission main That's shafts right. over there that have That's not right. been made they have yet. Not been heat treated yet. They have not. So here's here's a great example of more blanks. Of the blanks you have over there. Yeah, turning into gears. Yep. So these are special machines that actually hob or cut the teeth on. Look yeah. look at the cutter. <laughs> things, yeah, I know. It's that's awesome. incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. They come in all different shapes and sizes. There, there was some stacked over there earlier, but yeah. Um, yeah. This, this, so these load into this machine. These are all CNC. Yes. So they can make a variety of different things. You know, here's little tiny gears you guys make on there, right? Yes. That would be yeah, on the other machine over here. But yeah, yeah those are all. So really cool stuff. I, I wish yeah. they were still running because it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, see, when you were here. They're, they're cutting. So they're taking this shaft and turning it into this with the teeth on it. Yeah. Right? So. And then you're going to add more teeth out yeah, here? Yeah, the splines will be, yep. on this section will be splined. Yep. And then they'll go so. out to heat treat and come back and be ground. Yep. So you and this would be like the cutter that cuts that. That cuts that. So that comes down and cuts it. Comes down and it here. rotates as it cuts. And it's a yeah, very impressive even, machine. Yeah, you can see it inside there, the gold cutter. And then there's the, uh, the shaft sitting in the middle. Yes. So pretty cool. Yes. Pretty cool. And this this uses uh, probably a mineral oil or something. Yeah, they've changed stuff around. I, I got to apologize. I don't keep, <laughs> I got enough crap going on. But it is oil. It's, it's, it's cool. a, yeah. 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 Some kind so, of cutting oil. Yeah. Um, really cool. And you can see other sized parts. These are all staging to be cut on this machine. Yes. So, I mean, yeah, these will be a flange yoke. These will be cut. And yeah. Yeah, you never know what we're making all of this stuff. <laughs> It is really cool. Okay, so um, new stuff, right? New That's stuff. High tech. Yeah. We've got some um, older machines still work yeah. perfect, right? Yep. Um, this, what's this, a heat treater? Or, That's uh, our wash, a wash basket. Washer? Okay. The parts washer. Oh, here's some of those shafts yeah. that we were looking at over here that are already cut. Yeah, they're finished. Yep. And uh, here's another, I mean, these, they don't make machines like this anymore. This, right. I am so stoked. This like warms my heart to see stuff yeah. like this. Here's so another one. This of these. is not made on this machine, but if you can imagine, that this goes is in there. turning and here's the cutter cutting the splines as it rolls. It's constantly cutting the splines yes. as it rolls. Yes. Very mechanical, very, th but still does the job in our low production run stuff. Yeah. It keeps those machines Th making these the These were stuff. originally made for aerospace, right? Oh, yeah. This has probably lived its entire life at Lockheed or something, yeah. or Boeing. Military of some kind. Right, yeah. And uh, now being used yeah. here, it's, it's yeah. just awesome to yeah. uh, still, and you guys are able to actually dedicate a machine like this to a certain part even, yeah. which is totally cool. Yeah, and you see all the, the quick change parts, uh, yeah. how it was all done. Yeah you know it's all mechanical yep and then back to more cnc lathes yeah. we got a whole lathe department over here yeah there's so many pieces that go yeah. into this i'm not sure people really appreciate that and uh here's a great example so you load in the raw material out comes you know a half widget. of a piece right yeah. so then that'll get turned around yeah. they'll hold it on this side and finish machining it on that side yeah and uh there's probably a print or something around here, but the, yeah, the guys- Yeah, they're making on this one. Yeah. So um, we can go over here too. Yeah. We've got uh, more. Now this area runs from this machine over to this machine. So when you see the blank here, it's getting finished on this side. So you actually get to see what it looks like. Yeah. So Pretty we'll cool. do operation one, which is what you see here on this machine. Instead of double handling parts, it comes out and it goes directly into that machine yep. to finish the rest of it. So we're all trying to be as efficient and as quickly as possible. Yeah, and you can see this one running over here. This has got an automatic tool changer on it. So yeah. it's gonna finish that operation and then pull back and change tools. Yes. It's very quick. There you go. 
pretty pretty darn cool. Yeah. Very accurate. Very yeah. accurate. Because a lot of these hold bearings. Yeah. So oh, yes, that is a bearing retainer that we're right machining. Yeah. That's what so, centers everything up. Again, more material, turning it into parts. Yes. Right? These are all, all getting, happening right, right here. here. Right, right in here. this house. Yes. It comes through the door, you'll see our bar stock over there and yep. cut down and turn. Even bigger. You know, now we're getting yeah. into bigger steel parts. Yeah. Here you go. You know, look at this. Just beautiful finishes. Yeah, really, really cool. They've got some inspection equipment here. This is where they set all the inserts for the different tools, get them ready for the next job. There's an inspection room, a close tolerance inspection room in here. They've got welding equipment, tube yeah. bending. Should yeah. we walk over there? Should we check that out? Yeah, we can go check that out. I think we can squeeze through right here. Yeah, we can make it through right here. So you and I were talking about this press brake earlier. Yes. Right? So the, all those yeah. motor mounts and everything we were looking right. at? Yeah, that stuff gets broken right there. here. <laughs> so we can do that. And, you know, it's a lot of little pieces. That, and you know from your kits, that one bracket that's not right, that yeah. one simple and then part. And not going to fit. And it doesn't fit that's right. right. That's right. The bolt don't thread into it. You know, we've all been down that road. <laughs> yeah. And I know you can empathize from a manufacturer. Yeah. We all have to deal with it occasionally. That's, that's the deal. No matter how hard we try. So you got welding stations. Yes. You got bending, like yes. tube bending, tube cutting. Yeah. There's there, there's a, I mean, manufacturing like this is like a thing of the past. The past. That's what I love about yes. this. It's got, we've got all kinds of, there's a lot of neat stuff in this place. And what you and I were talking about earlier yeah. is, you know, you guys are a little bit removed from LA, right? So Correct. you gotta be pretty self-sufficient up here. Correct, because you're, Four hours two, away. Yeah, we're four hours to LA, four hours right. to the Bay Area. You know, it's two hours to Fresno, two hours to Bakersfield, and, you know. So this is, I, I like showing this, because this is the raw material, that huge chunk, you know, comes in, goes through the saw right here. Yep. They cut it all the size, load it on a cart, and get it over there to lay. And that's what it is. Depending on outside sources, kill you. Yeah, yeah. It's but, an investment up front, but it's being able to control it yourself makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm encouraging everybody to cut them some slack. Yeah. Right, because yeah. they're, we're working. they're working, man. They are working, I swear. Yeah. I'm here to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's see. So don't forget, you know, you guys have all these other things. Correct. That not just Atlas transfer, transfer cases. cases. Correct. There's a ton of other product and uh, expertise. Right? Yes. You know, when they call in and talk to you or one of the guys that, you know, yeah. you've been here a long time. I've been How here long? a long time. I've been here over 16 years, but if you call the sales staff, there's three guys that have more time here than me that are answering the phones. Right. You know, and, we, so and we talked to the gear well, hob guy. He's, he's been 20 here years, long, 20 years. 20 years, the guy's yep. cutting the gear hobs. Yep. So we don't have a lot of turnover. No. We, no. The, there's this a lot a, to it and we, they take good care of us here. We appreciate it. If I lived it. up in this area, this is a cool place to work. Yeah. Yes. So very cool. All right. Um, well, we're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of yeah. checking out what Advanced Adapters looks like. Yes. And uh, when you get a chance, check out their products yourself. You will not be disappointed in the American-made quality. Thanks, Tony.